Hey guys, today we're going to read something special. Natalie the Christmas Talking Fairy. You might think that I say talking fairy, but it's stalking. Stalking, get it? Here, stalking. Stalking over here. So let's read. Butter and Butter. I love making pies at Christmas time," said Rachel Walker, sifting flour and salt into a heavy mixing bowl. "Me too," said her best friend Christy Tate, opening a jar of cinnamon and taking a deep sniff. The ingredients have such a Christmassy, spicy smell. She put the lid back on the jar, and the girls smiled happily at each other. It was the day before Christmas Eve, and they were staying in a cozy holiday cottage in the country with their families. "Whoop!" said Rachel's dog. "You're looking forward to Christmas、uh, too, aren't you, Buttons?" said Kirsty, leaping down to pet his shaggy head. "What does the receipt say next?" asked Rachel as Kirsty washed her hands. Kirsty turned the page of the cookbook that was propped up on the kitchen counter. Rub the butter in with her fingers until the mixture looks like fine crumbs. She read. Rachel opened the fridge and then frowned. Kirsty, did you already take the butter out of the fridge? No, said Kirsty in surprise. That's funny, said Rachel. I was sure we had some. Maybe we put it somewhere else. Kirsty suggests. Let's look around. They searched high and low, but the butter was nowhere to be found. We'll just have to go to the store again," said Rachel. "But we're miles from anywhere," Kirsty said with a groan. "And it's almost closing time." Just then, Mister Tate walked into the kitchen, looking puzzled. "Hello, girls," he said. "I just found this carton of butters on Button's bed. Don't you need this to make the pies?" "Yes," exclaimed Kirsty, giving him a delighted hug. Thanks, Dad. Greedy dog," said Mister Tate with a chuckle, patting Button's head as he left the kitchen. "That's odd," said Rachel, looking down at Button's. "He doesn't even like butter." Rachel rubbed the butter into the flour and then added a little water. Soon she had a ball of golden dough. She wrapped it in plastic wrap. And put it in the kit fridge to chill. Fridge to chill. Should we add the secret ingredient to the pie filling now? Christy suggests. Rachel nodded eagerly. It's an old family secret, she said with a smile. Our own kind of magic. The girls giggled happily. They knew more than most people about magic. They were. Secret friends with the fairies and have had many adventures in Fairyland. Christy picked up the jar of cinnamon and tried to unscrew the lid. Oh, she said in surprise, "It's stuck! I must have tightened it too much when I put it back on earlier." Rachel tried to open the jar, but it won't judge. J- budge, not judge. Let's ask my dad," she said. "He's really strong." They hurried to the living room. Their parents were playing cards and listening to Carlos on the radio. Dad, can you undo this? Asked Rachel, holding out the spice jar. We think Kirsty tightened it too much earlier. Mister Walker has to use all his strength to open the jar. At last, it popped open, and he handed it back to Rachel. You must be stronger than you look, Kirsty. He said with a laugh. The girls hurried back to the kitchen, eager to add the secret ingredient. But when they reached the doorway, they stopped in amazement. What happened? Kirsty cried. All the drawers and cupboards were open, and there were flour all over the kitchen. The dough was sitting on the kitchen counter, and it was covered in dirty fingerprints. Suddenly, Rachel saw the top of a green head poking up from behind the kitchen counter. Look, she explained, it's a goblin. Kirsty gasped, "What is he doing here?" So.
this is the next chapter. So, bye guys. Hope you like this video.